today, then our first round of games, and then the men's final right after football. That'll lead you to 60 minutes. This is what Ginepa has got to tell himself. I'm gonna, I need to work even harder than I already have. I cannot afford to get at all lazy. That ball, he needed to get himself in a better position. That's easier said than done because Agassi's hitting the ball cleanly. He does not want to get down two sets to Agassi here. Well, it's Agassi's home court in more ways than one. clearly in and correct it. It would be a let. But you made a good point because the crowd will not be energizing him the way it energized Andre against Blake. So he does not have that going for him. That ball is clearly on the line. Good overrule. The other is that there's no one has won more titles on hard court than Andre. Andre with 46 hardcore titles out of his 60 total. Andre's real smart, isn't he? I mean, he's, he's been working over that backhand side of Ginepri's, and now in this game, he's sending him over the forehand way. Ginepri's forehand has gotten just a little cold. And maybe a little surprised that he's striking forehands this deep in the second. the net but it stays in Chinepi did not want to play it that close because that was barely in he stayed down nice and low for that ball and his balance was there and he was in a good position to go for that shot it was not going for an absolute winner was making sure he got that in. Ah! Misses there. It's yes. been certainly a summer of encouragement for this man, Jim Epri. After Wimbledon, he had fallen to 103rd in the world, but he dedicated himself to being in better shape, worked on his game, and He'll be in the top uh, 35 at least at the end of this tournament. So these are his best results uh, in Grand Slam events. This one by far, in first three this year, he had lost first round. So clearly something needed to be done. He holds, so that puts the pressure back on Agassi. He'll serve for a tie break when we return. If they're going to put mayonnaise on a BLT, they should call it an MBLT. It's only right. Well, in that case, they should call it a BBLT because of the bread. No, in the sandwich world, bread is valve 347. The bread is a given. <laughs> Mayonnaise is a condiment. Condiments don't get initials. Who made up that rule? Connect instantly with Nextel Walkie Talkies now from Sprint. Sprint. Yes, you can. should be. TIAA CREF, serving the retirement needs of those in the academic, medical, cultural, and research fields. Visit us online to find out how we can serve you. TIAA CREF, financial services for the greater good. They 
swap breaks earlier in this set. Gennepri took a 3-1 lead only to be broken back by Agassi and now it's Agassi serving to stay in the set, move it to a tie break. High marks for Gennepri holding together after a very disappointing 2-3 game where he had seven break points and couldn't deliver. Well, there's some real pop on Agassi's serve. That's 126. He's hit one 128. Think of Andre Agassi as a big server as he hits the ball so tremendously well. That's become a very effective a part of his game. You don't also see him making easy unforced errors very often as he does there. So he's feeling the heat as well. Nervous about how this second set will end up. Just about 500 on winners unforced. 21 winners, 20 unforced errors for Agassi. on Agassi's side and a slight opening for Gennepri. He tried to cut that ball off because it was getting away from him here, but he's aiming over the hottest part of the net, so it's a little tougher to pull off. The crowd trying to rally Andre here. A little nervous cheer from Agassi fans. Gennepri has undoubtedly watched Andre Agassi use that drop shot time and time again in this tournament. So here's a shot that he hasn't seen an opponent pull, up, pull on him. Drop shot right back. Two set points for Gennepri and a second serve. A set all to play two of three in this semifinal. Presenting the Canon Rebel T2. A sophisticated yet easy to use SLR. With features like high speed autofocus that'll help you take extraordinary photographs. The Canon T2. Once a rebel, always a rebel. This is Paul. He's been a quarryman, beetle, wing, poet, father, frontman, producer, business mogul, painter, and if that weren't enough, a knight. The key is, never stop doing what you love. Call us today. We'll help you plan for the next part of your life. Fidelity Investments. Smart move. If they're going to put mayonnaise on a BLT, they should call it an MBLT. It's only right. Well, in that case, they should call it a BBLT because of the bread. No. In the sandwich world, bread is valve 347. The bread is a given. <laughs> Mayonnaise is a condiment. Condiments don't get initials. Who made up that rule? Connect instantly with Nextel Walkie Talkies now from Sprint. Sprint. Guess you can. Looking for the perfect home? Now Yahoo Real Estate connects you to Prudential Real Estate offices with more than one million properties online. And a Prudential Real Estate professional who can make it all a snap. Find the perfect home at Yahoo Real Estate. When my allergies get really bad, I feel like I'm in a fog. Now I'm Claritin Clear. Claritin gives me non-drowsy relief from my worst symptoms for 24 hours. It's the only one proven to make you alert and focused. Got it. Claritin. Live Claritin Clear. Well, Robbie Tenepri with that second set, and you can see the problems for Agassi in that first serve line. Well, obviously, he'd like that to get better. It's been a closely contested match. And uh, it's not surprising now to see that it is a set all. Credit to Gennepri for showing some uh, mental toughness here to pull that second set out. That's his second double fall as we start the third. He doesn't want to let down here now early in the third and let Agassi 
regain control. Ginepper used that big drop shot to help him break the last game. Here again, Agassi looking to fool him here with another drop shot. And Ginepper was ready to go any direction. And he saw Andre moving, hit it to the open court. Good touch by Ginepper. Boy, a lot to like in watching uh, this young man play today. Uh, and Andre says he hasn't really played Ginepper. Not this version of Robbie Ginepri. He's beaten him the only three times that they've played, but Andre fully acknowledges how much better Ginepri has gotten over the summer. Ginepri didn't really feel all the hard work he's been putting on, in, on and off the court. He didn't think it'd pick until the end of the year. But the effect was dramatic and immediate for Ginepri. Exciting when a young guy, the potential is realized. It's almost like a lightning bolt and here he is playing in the Grand Slam semifinal against the legend Agassi, and he's a set all. Oh, he's good at that running, scooping backhand winner. Well, he's quick, so he gets up there in a hurry. So this gives him the option of hitting it down the line. It also allows him to take a little look at the corner of his eyes and see where Andre is. Oh, Off the net Ginepri. cord and wide, Ginepri holds. Third set underway. Coverage of the U.S. Open on CBS Sports is sponsored by IBM, the Royal Bank of Scotland Group, the new Singular, and by Claritin. Well, yeah, Mary Carrillo and John McEnroe, here's a startling statistic. Andre Agassi on the backhand side, two winners, 20 unforced errors. Well, this backhand to backhand battle is not going Andre's way. There's another. You would have thought that it would have been one sided in Andre's favor, but Ginepri has really hit that backhand as well as, it, as I've ever seen him. Even better than the other matches leading up to this. And he's going to need to continue to do that. Andre's smart enough to mix it up. He uses that serve, he's used it consistently and well. Slicing it away from Ginepri. Another one. Five aces for Andre. The, the, the good, smart serving from Agassi sets up the rest of his game, and that's why, first and foremost, he's got to boost his first serve percentage from the first few sets, which is in the low 50s. He came into this match serving at 65%. It allows him to take control of the center of the court keep him from doing a lot of hard running. One all in the third. A reminder this fall on CBS, to catch a criminal, you have to think like one. Don't miss TV's next great thriller. It's Criminal Minds, on a special premiere September 22nd on CBS, America's most watched network. his home in Marietta, Georgia, which is the home of the Gone with the Wind Museum. And uh, with those trebles in the middle of that second set, it looked like his hopes were gone, but really formed a terrific rally and wound up winning the set. I'm not going to use the Red Butler line. Save that for John McEnroe. He's itching to use it. But 
Yeah, I can see line. looking for a, looking for a call right there. Yeah, but that ball was in, clearly in. I don't know if that's a bad sign if you're an Agassi fan that he would try to grab a call there. That's the shot that uh, I wasn't sure was in Ginepri's repertoire, and he's used that very effectively. This Agassi, I think, has expected the ball to come back more to his back end, and he's mixed things up well with his that backhand side. 11 winners to Andre's two. Uh, a little too much of an angle attempt there. Agassi putting on a little pressure there, a sneak attack. You can just never let up against Agassi. You think you have a fairly easy service game at 45. You look up, you're down break point. associate Andre with playing great defense like he did that he was a guy moving side to side and then finally what was arguably the easiest ball he had he missed wide there had been a huge roar from the crowd if he had oh. pulled that point off they were ready to let it rip weren't they well, the, ball, the ball looked to be in the Seemed like the lines had made the call before it even bounced. Both have been working on the backhand and mm, tough call. And another chance for Agassi to claim the lead early in the third. Producing a remarkable length on his forehand. He just pinning Agassi. I'll tell you what it showed to me as well, though, uh, that first break point is how well Agassi's moving out there. very good about getting himself in position quickly, stepping around that backhand. He's got the short swing. He's so strong in the upper body, follows through for the winner. There's the break. Fame, fame, Andy. Fame is a gal who wears many hats. You see her across the room and she gives you the eye. 
and you think, hey, going my way. Next thing you know, you're a prisoner with no windows and beans on a cold plate. My oldest friend. <laughs> My east. My west side. My private side. happens here. My car is American Express. You the help desk? What seems to be the problem, officer? Traffic. Traffic? Traffic. What do you need? What do you got? I got wireless sensors and congestion flow modeling. What'll it do? Cut down traffic. Will it work? Works. Nice work. Just doing my job. Have a nice day. Robert Ginepri at the end of this game frustrated because he let the concentration slip just the slightest amount. And what was once a 45 lead in that game, he ends up being broken. Thus the frustration and anger. Seeing himself down here 2-1 in the third. And Agassi starts his game in the lead with an ace, number six. Each of those aces here on Martha Ash Stadium Court, $100 for the Hurricane Relief Fund, American Express. Aces program here at the Open. There are aces, $100 usually going to kids' tennis, but in light of the news down in the Gulf Coast, $100 for each ace to the American Red Cross Hurricane Katrina relief efforts. Over $65,000 starting play today to be raised. Not this time. It's clear that when he talked to his coach, Francisco Montana, about having to deal with this shot, which I can see uses fairly often, they were going to try to drop shot right back. Just clipped the top of the tape there. And he's down down 3-1. Thursday on the premiere of Survivor, 16 new survivors will be tested like never before. Survivor Guatemala premieres Thursday, 8, 7 central on America's most watched network, CBS. Big weekend of sports here on CBS with... The semi-final doubleheader, men's this afternoon, and then the women's final tonight at 8. NFL football tomorrow beginning at noon, and then the men's final following uh, your favorite NFL teams. success working on the backhand wing of Agassi. <laughs> CBS Sports coverage of the U.S. Open continues after this message and a word from your local station. What happened? Servers. Servers. He's running around trying to manage all these servers. All these servers? What's that? Spec sheet for an IBM E server. Single point of control, remote management. Annette, you shall not have died in vain. We will call IBM. I'm not oh. dead. 
just making a point. Take back control with a scalable IBM e-server blade center featuring Intel Xeon processors. America's Choice visits the set of two and a half men. The devil gets rewarded. Big Brother, CBS Tonight. I'm tracking something really wild. Shh, it's right over there. Tender chicken strips swimming in buffalo sauce. It's the buffalo chicken sandwich only at Subway restaurants. <laughs> Crikey. Now this is a deal worth walking all the way across town for. The 249 Daily Special. Every day a different delicious six inch Subway sub on fresh baked bread for only 249. Heck, just saying the price makes me hungry. Subway, eat fresh. Fast, aggressive, relentless. Fire has no equal. What does it? The 300 horsepower Lexus GS. Get a sneak peek at all the hot new CBS shows tonight at 6 on CBS Detroit. Underway on this 3-2 game. Agassi in the lead has set all. And he'll take it. Andre the champion here twice in 94 and 99. And should he win today, it would be his sixth final appearance. Too often Pete Sampras was in the way in the past when he got to the finals. Pete's last match was here three years ago, 2002, where he beat Andre. And the ripe old age of 31, Pete called it quits. There's the four guys left in this tournament. The men who follow Federer and Hewitt are 24, Ginepri 22, and then the gray beard at 35 serving. <laughs> well, in terms of tennis age, a gray beard. As we've evidenced once again with Andre, he doesn't play like he's 35. He's not moving right now like he's 35. He's covering the court quite well today. It was Blake who was up two sets in a break and lost his rhythm on his serve. And Ginepri lost the his rhythm in the beginning of this set that cost him the break. And don't forget next. And Leighton Hewitt. One, Roger Federer and Leighton trying to figure out how to deal with Roger. Lost eight in a row to Roger. And then Kleisters and Pierce tonight for the women's title beginning at 8 o'clock Eastern time. 5 o'clock for you fans out there on the West Coast. Jeffrey's got to tell himself this, it was great to get to the semis, but I'm not satisfied with that. Yet yeah, it's great to win my first set ever against Andre. Hadn't won one of the three previous times, but I want more. In order to do that, he's going to have to pick up his intensity again. Well, he has to be encouraged. He's had plenty of chances to break, so he has to figure that there's going to be an opportunity before this third set runs out. He just can't afford to drop another service game on his end. If he shows a little bit more positive body language, I think that would help him with the crowd as well, because he looks a little bit down right now. Line to line. Another line. Probably not a bad idea because he had moved so much in that point alone. Try to get Agassi on the run. He's up 40 love. He doesn't want to be yo-yoed around too much. Well, Agassi 
Agassi guessed right, but misses wide. Agassi leads 4-3 in the third. Funny how innovation works. One doorway leads to another. Today, Olympus innovations help lead the way in everything from consumer electronics to medical technology. Wonder what doors we'll open tomorrow. Life offers a simple formula for long-term success. Protect what really matters. Grow it with care. That's our approach to planning for your future at Prudential Retirement. For decades, we've used our strength to help people and organizations plan for retirement with intelligent retirement solutions designed to both grow wealth and protect it. Growth and protection. The strong and steady approach to retirement at Prudential Financial. Those Buffalo are beautiful this time of year. Oh, this just in. Huge crowds at the Ace Hardware Sale. Bob? I think he went to the sale. <laughs> the Ace Alpha Hardware Day Sale. Save 25% on Ace brand tools that fit inside this Ace Toolbox for $4.99. Sale starts Friday. When my allergies get really bad, I feel like I'm in a fog. Now I'm Claritin Clear. Claritin gives me non-drowsy relief from my worst symptoms for 24 hours. It's the only one proven to make you alert and focused. Got it. Claritin. Live Claritin Clear. On this date, September 10th, 17 years ago, that woman, Steffi Groff, completed the Grand Slam, the Golden Slam, 1988. Won all four majors and the Olympic gold. Now in the position of mother of two and rooting for husband Andre Agassi, who has the lead, 4-3 here in the third. Gil Reyes, the trainer, to the right of Steffi. Well, Andre Agassi lost to Montevilander as a kid, as a teenager. Lo six love in the fifth set at, at the French Open and decided, you know what, I got to do something about this. So he wandered into the UNLV gym where this man was, strength and fitness coach Gil Reyes over there. And Andre, he didn't know what he was looking at. He didn't know how to operate any of the machines. And Gil started talking to him. And Andre said, I'm thinking of doing something. So they decided they'd hook up. Andre liked what Gil was saying, and Gil didn't know anything about tennis, and Andre didn't know anything about fitness. And uh, they figured they'd try it for three months, see how it went, and that was 16 years ago. Andre naming his first son, Jaden Gil Agassi, after Reyes. Agassi works upwards of two hours a day in the gym. No longer doing the weights, which he always really enjoyed, you know, all those heavy weights, but uh, trying to work to maintain a sciatic back problem he's had now. Four cortisone shots he's taken in that back this year alone. It takes about 10 minutes to administer them. He's got to stay very still, and it's very uncomfortable. That's what it takes to keep him out there. Andre says, you read a lot more into the losses when you're older. He weighs everything, balances everything to decide just how much life he's giving up to maintain his career, what it's costing him and his family. He figures as long as he can still compete for majors, he's going to keep going. And people like Robbie Ginepri, we consider he's having a comeback. The kid's only 22 years old. James Blake is having a comeback. Mary Pierce at age 30. Kim Kleisters coming back from a year off with a bad wrist as we're approaching the two-hour mark. I mean, Andre Agassi is uh, the poster child for comebacks and for uh, living up to yourself. And representing this game in so many ways, not just on court, but everything he does away from tennis. 3-5 is Ginepri trying to come up with a game here and force Agassi to serve out the set. Well, more than anyone, Andre Agassi proves that it's never too late to be what you might have been. kept by the fan. Sinepri didn't mean to hit it that far, but that's a souvenir. Help! 
here at Arthur Ashe Stadium. It's an innovation this year, fan friendly. Any ball struck into the crowd may be kept. Gennepri right now looks deflated. He's kind of got to get his act together in a hurry here. He's going to be down two sets to one. to Agassi. Well, he's shown more signs of anger than he has throughout this tournament. And he's going to allow Agassi, if he wins his point, to start serving as well in the fourth, which would be helpful. And the crowd giving Andre a big round of applause. Second serve at set point. the way this Ginepri has shrugged off the pressure in these tough points. Save set point. He'll be on the U.S. Davis Cup team. He's serving for this set, Dick, 33%. I mean, this is costing him here. Big time. Hey, Robbie, uh, James Blake, Robbie Ginepri, Andy Roddick will be on Patrick McEnroe's single side. Another set point. He was letting get things get under his skin. That was a bit of a late call, but he expressed frustration. Later would even would have been even better, you know, sarcastic. He's he's mental, he's dropped mentally right now. And it may be connected to physical dip as well. Agassi taking its toll. Let's not forget that Ginepri has played three five-setters in a row. Agassi had two. They both had two days break. Ginepri's only 22. Like mentally and emotionally, it's fatiguing to play that, that much close tennis. Finally gets a first serve in, and Agassi handcuffs him on the return. Three set points. A lot of bite on that serve wide. Mm -hmm. And Chinepri, of course, assuming Agassi would work over the backhand side again. Gave up that open court. Another set point. And there it is, Andre Agassi, a set away from the 2005 Finals. American Express, how may I help you, Mr. Giles? First date? Okay, uh, how about the circus? I see, fear of clowns, all right. What about the planetarium? She's nearsighted, really. Well, you know, how about something close up? Sure, I have rows four and five available tonight. No, sir, no clowns. The American Express Card, a world of service. On the day of his wedding, oh. Victor panicked and fled, and by a grave misunderstanding, married the corpse bride instead. You may kiss the bride. From the creator of The Nightmare Before Christmas. Who is she? I'm his wife. Johnny Depp, Helena Bonham Carter. <gasps> Maggot. <laughs> Tim Burton's Corpse Bride. This is gonna be good. Rated PG. It's Lake City, September 16th, starts September 23rd.
Every once in a while, I like to mix it up. Throw in a little twist. Be a little more playful. That's why I love the new Pantene Curls Collection. Curls are hot. Every hairstyle says something different. What do my curls say to me? They go boing. There's something for every look you can imagine. I don't know if it's the pro vitamin formula or what. I can go curly, I can go wavy, I can kind of do it all. The new Pantene Curls Collection. I love it. Somewhere beyond the sea, somewhere waiting for me. My lover stands on golden sands and watches the ships that go sail. On a carnival cruise, at any one moment, there are a million ways to have fun. Go sail. Carnival, the fun ships. Robbie Ginepri, who had some blister problems with his right fingers against Guillermo Corey in the last round, and gets a little help with that right index finger. But that's all done within the two-minute timeout, so it isn't a medical timeout where you have treatment and can spend three minutes. Well, that starts sweating, obviously, on his playing hand, and it's a good idea that he gets Per Bastol, who's one of the top ATP trainers, to get out there, retape it, and feel better about his feel of the racket. It's not feeling too good, though, right now about what's transpired the last 20 minutes, and he's going to have to find some life here. Agassi getting the bonus of breaking Ginepri to close out that third set to open this fourth on serve. Side in. Well, that's where he, uh, he the certain uh, weights that he doesn't use anymore to try to make sure he doesn't hurt that sciatic, but he still likes to pump the upper body, you know, and he's so strong up there, he can muscle it up the line for the winner. sign that Ginepri didn't even try for that because that was not a great drop shot it almost reached the service line Ginepri made no effort for it well, that's the fourth love game from Agassi in the last couple of sets Ginepri's had three Sometimes Ginepri can hold easily and well, and he's going to start needing some of those so he can concentrate more on his, these return games. We were out in Las Vegas a couple of weeks ago to interview Agassi at his academy where he's raised millions uh, and donated uh, up to $20 million of his own money in North Las Vegas. Uh, kids, uh, they don't get a chance in life they have some of the advantages of others, and uh, he's providing the education elementary through middle school. He wants to go through high school and terrific facilities, and he is hands-on, and he's as proud of what he's accomplished there as anything he's done in tennis. Ace number eight for Ginepri. Nine. He needed a love game. Looks like he's close to building it. Well, that's the biggest serve he's hit. And he yeah. needs that second win right now. Physically and mentally. Holds it low with her son Jaden will be four in October. Jazz will be two and with parents Groff and uh, and Andre, uh, what happens if they want to be a tennis star? What's his answer? You touched on the most important part, which is my child taking ownership of what it is they're choosing for themselves. For me, um, 
full ownership of this sport in my life didn't happen until I was 140 in the world. When I felt 140 in the world, I had a question to answer. And uh, that's, I think, when it became mine. He was 29 then. That's when he was revitalized, dedicated himself to being the best he could be. And look what's happened. He said, that was interesting. He said, when they're, if they're 12 years old, they come to me and they want to play tennis, they've got to take ownership. And that's what I did. Biology is destiny. It would certainly seem that mm -hmm. Andre Agassi your father and Steffi Groff is your mom. You might be able to hit a forehand. Now there's a whole village of tents outside their home there. They're all agents. <laughs> they're lined up. They're going to live there for yeah. years. By <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine those jeans, tennis jeans? 15.30. Jeanette Bray was up, love 30. You just look up, it's like, it seems like five, ten seconds later, I guess he's got two points right back. He's looking at his sneakers as if they're letting him down, but I think it's his legs a little bit in his mind because here's another ball. He did get fooled. There wasn't a lot on it. He's got to make more of an effort for that. And the hold on serve in the fourth set. Agassi leads two sets to one. And now, this tournament summary, sponsored by American Express. On this beautiful sunny Saturday, a look at our tournament summary. Roger Federer, six straight Grand Slam semis, another title in the U.S. Leighton Hewitt, seventh Australian in the U.S. Open semifinal in the last nine years. Seven out of nine for him. And Kim Kleisters tries again her fifth attempt at her first major championship. American Express, how may I help you, Miss Abrams? For your father's birthday. Okay. Well, you can redeem points and get him a ride in a MIG. Afraid of heights. How about auto racing school? About 200 miles an hour? Motion sick. Mm. Okay, here it is. Something that goes three miles an hour. Safari it is. The American Express card. A world of service. So I'll just make this a little more obvious Cause I get what I want and I want you to get with me You can't stop this feeling You can't run away Hey. Yeah, great. Bye. The world's first phone with iTunes. A hundred songs to go, only from Singular. Raising the bar. Largest tennis arena in the world, 23,000 plus here. Record crowds throughout the championship to see this Super Saturday action, the men's semifinals. Ginepri at 1-2, opens with an ace at 124 miles an hour. Agassi with a two sets to one lead. Well, they've been on court two hours now, and Agassi hoping he can get through this in four sets. Heavy favorite, number one, defending champion Roger Federer next against Leighton Hewitt. Well, it looks like Ginepri may have found his serve again. Two that more would, aces than Agassi. That would be huge for him. Points for two all. And he's got to figure out a way to be aggressive on return. Getting control of these return points early. Up next, the second semifinal, and Roger Federer has dominated the men's game this year, losing only three times all year. Leighton Hewitt has been beaten by Federer the last eight times they've played. And the Aussie Hewitt come up with something extraordinary and 
derail the FedEx Express. But the good news, Mary, is the less, less energy you use on your own serve, the more you'll have on the return game. At the moment, is just looking mentally and physically weary. And uh, talk about Ginepri. He hasn't found that next gear. He's stuck on that fourth gear, but he's got to find the fifth one. If he's going to beat Agassi. Well, let's face it, all the tennis Robbie Ginepri has played to get here has ground down some of those <laughs> gears. <laughs> First time he's ever been in a semi. He needed three five-set matches just to get here. He beat three seeds to get here. And now he's trying to win two more sets from Andre Agassi. That's a big ask. Agassi, his second double fault. And then come back and beat Federer. He went <laughs> yeah. 24 hours later. <laughs> Sets to one, they're on serve three, two, and the fourth. Listen up. This is Darren. He's the newest member of the league. Whoa, 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 hold up. What can he do? Can he fly? No, cannot. Got superhuman strength, though, right? Come on, man. You gotta be able to do something. Levitate, go through walls, stop. I can do one thing. Well, let's see it. You can room with me. Hey. How can working with the right financial advisor answer the question, am I going to be okay? If inflation goes up. If I start spending my dividends. If I buy another 30 acres. If I travel Europe for a year. Am I going to be okay? 10 years from now. 20 years from now. If I live as long as my father. What if I help my son start his own practice? At Wachovia Securities, our financial advisors start with your life and plan your money around it. Talk to us. Somewhere beyond the sea, somewhere waiting for me, my lover stands on golden sands and watches the ships. That go say on a carnival cruise at any one moment there are a million ways to have fun. Go carnival the fun ships. Super Saturday continues. Andre Agassi is certainly the sentimental choice. Looking for his ninth Grand Slam title in his storied career. Robbie Ginepri, uh, one of the many outstanding stories of the summer. Young players emerging. James Blake, Robbie Ginepri. Looked like Taylor Dents getting his servant volley game tuned up. And a tremendous effort in five sets against Leighton Hewitt. And Taylor Dent. And remember, at this stage in the other matches Ginepri played, he had all the fans pulling for him. He had all that energy he could draw. Well, he knew it wasn't going to happen today. Said he never heard so much noise in his behalf in the earlier matches. Remember what James Blake said after he lost to Andre. In that remarkable five set of where it was all over, Blake said, hey, if I'd been in the crowd, I'd have been cheering for Andre, too. That's him. Yeah. How beautifully did Blake handle himself throughout the championship, playing and always had the right thing to say. He's always led a life of grace. Jeffrey's played a couple loose points here. He's 30 all. He's better be careful right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, I guess he guessed right and almost. Put the pinch on Ginepri. Agassi had that all lined up to clip the top of the tape. And the hold for three all. 
had a little luck in this hole, Ginepri, and he knows it because Agassi had the open court. Best Ginepri can hope for is to just keep holding serve. Take this to a tie break. The 125th U.S. Championship. Open era beginning in 68. That's a play that uh, nice. Ginepri has used a couple times and effective. He catched uh, Andre off guard. He, he's done a good job of taking that serve early before it kicks up too high. Nice change up there. Here's a chance, low 30. That gives Agassi just a little bit of seed of doubt about what he's going to do. And here's Coach Francisco Montana thinking uh, he's man's got a chance. To, Boy, that, that would have been love 40. Obviously, Ginepri desperate to take this to a fifth set. And if Agassi looks ahead at all, wanting to win this in four, because the more he has to lay out here in the semis, the tougher it is to bounce back as quickly in the final. That was a good chance for Robbie there. Still at 30 all. He didn't hit that cleanly, but he shot Agassi again. The mishit passing shot, so Agassi's feeling some tension. Look here, that wasn't hit barely past the service line. Agassi hit it right to Ginebra. Here's a big time chance for Robbie. First break point since early in the last set. This will give him a boost of adrenaline. Here. There's no money. No money. Where is it? Somewhere safe. This is the safe. Somewhere safer. Safer? How? Hardware encryption, smart cards, you know, digital security. Who are you? I'm from the help desk. Who are you? Cleaning crew? This place is a mess. Stupid allergies. Poor kid can't sleep. He's all congested from nasal allergies. Only Nasonex is clinically proven to treat and help prevent congestion and other seasonal nasal allergy symptoms. Let's tell his mom. Do go. Side effects were generally mild and included headache, viral infection, sore throat, nosebleeds, and coughing. His congestion's better. But your nose isn't. For seasonal nasal allergy symptoms, Nasonex is the one to treat and help prevent congestion. Talk to your doctor. back fans and uh, they're looking for another coronation of the two-time U.S. champion Agassi but he's down 4-3 here in the fourth set 11th ace Ginepri. Now Ginepri wasn't making much of an impression on the Agassi serve in that last game he just got aggressive took it to Andre. I think Andre had grown a little complacent on his serves and now he's in very big trouble. Well I think what it was Mary is he finally started serving better. Yeah, so uh, Giving himself a little confidence. His first serve percentage way up this set. It takes some pressure Look at off. This. Now he's five points from taking this to a final set. A dozen aces. Look at that. Yeah, that works. 
Game away from two sets all. Get the latest U.S. Open coverage, including an exclusive video preview of the Women's Championship tonight from Patrick McEnroe when you click on tennis at cbssportsline.com. Thank you. And Agassi, perhaps disheartened that this set may be slipping away. Double faults to open this game. His third. And Ansis with an ace. His ninth. Boy, no movement on that one. Well, the credit to Ginepra, and he has stepped in and rifled that return. That's as good a second serve as you can hit, right there. First of all, it's the placement, but he really went after it with some serious spin, a combination of slice and kick. And there's another slice serve away. Again, Agassi's serve is much improved over his earlier days. Jeffrey's had the answer to that drop shot the entire match. Well, this maybe. again, this wasn't too good. It laid up. And get Robbie's quick. He's still got some legs. And now he's two points from the fifth set again. Number 10 mile and ace wide. That'll be on Robbie Ginepri's record when we come back. So I'll just make this a little more obvious. Cause I get what I want and I want you to get with me. You can't stop it, feeling. You can't run away. Hey. Yeah, great. Bye. The world's first phone with iTunes. A hundred songs to go, only from Singular. Raising the bar. Presenting the Canon Rebel T2. A sophisticated, yet easy to use SLR. With features like high-speed autofocus, that'll help you take extraordinary photographs. The Canon T2. Once a rebel, always a rebel. Wimbledon 2000, I remember the fourth set was match point. I had the all-time Grand Slam record on my racket. I was physically and emotionally drained. I had to stay focused and I made it happen. I did it. Two years later, at the 2002 US Open final, I made it happen again. Like Pete Sampras at the Royal Bank of Scotland Group, we know you've got to play a good game. Make it happen. The Royal Bank of Scotland Group. Chance to level this match at two sets off for Robbie Jeanette. A 22-year-old has been very stingy on his serve in this set. He's missed only three first serves coming into this game, and he's lost only three points on his serve. I guess he gives Steve Ulrich a little look like, you sure about that call on the baseline? Seemed to catch part of the line. And then Ginepri, a surprise drop shot. Giving Andre a taste of his own medicine. Oh, what a good save by Ginepri. Stretched out. All he had left was that slice forehand. Absolutely right. 
He was Rack looking so disconsolate just a couple of games ago, Ginepri, hanging his head. Now two points from the set. The set where he's hit 13 winners and made only three mistakes, Ginepri. And that serve just continues to get the job done for him. Three set points. works. One doorway leads to another. Today, Olympus Innovations help lead the way in everything from consumer electronics to medical technology. Wonder what doors we'll open tomorrow. This is Paul. He's been a quarryman, beetle, wing, poet, father, Frontman, producer, business mogul, painter, and if that weren't enough, a knight. The key is, never stop doing what you love. Call us today. We'll help you plan for the next part of your life. Fidelity Investments. Smart move. You the help desk? What seems to be the problem, officer? Traffic. Traffic? Traffic. What do you need? What do you got? I got wireless sensors and congestion flow modeling. What'll it do? Cut down traffic. Will it work? Works. Nice work. Just doing my job. Have a nice day. We started it. We're ending it. September 30th is your absolute last day to get Chevy employee pricing for everyone on most 05 vehicles. Like nine models that can get an estimated 30 or better highway miles per gallon. And the most dependable, longest lasting trucks on the road. Now use employee pricing to get a 2005 Chevy Malibu sedan for under 15.7. See your local Chevy dealer. Billed as the toughest tennis championship and proved uh, true to the test here in this 2005 year. Third consecutive five-setter for Agassi. The fourth in a row for his opponent, Ginepri. And who will survive this marathon? Almost nine and a half hours just in the last three matches for Chinepri. He admitted yesterday when we talked to him that even with the day's rest, he still felt it. Big for both players that they got two days off between their Wednesday quarterfinals. This allows the, allowed these two to play some excellent tennis. This has been a high quality match. Both players badly wanting this first game. Get off to the early start. Good start. Ginepri now, two break points. He's done this very well in this match. He's not allowed that Agassi kick serve to get too far up on him. He's stepped in and hurt him. That one he hasn't quite figured out. Second chance, Ginepri to take the early lead here in the final set.
That is an awesome shot. Agassi digging out of 1540 back to Deuce. Very few people that after a tough point like that can pull off a shot down break point. At two sets all at 35. Third straight five setter. <laughs> and that's the first time in Agassi's career that he's had to go three straight five set matches. And he holds. Saves two break points. As he runs to the sidelines. <laughs> Friday on CBS, can this team of investigators find the answers that can save our world? Don't miss the premiere of Threshold, Friday on CBS, America's most watched network. And Ginepri is the first player to play four five-set matches in the open era. So talk about stretching both men in terms of their ability to survive the exhaustion of the mental and physical demands of this championship. Both are walking that line for the first time. They played two hours, 23 minutes. If there's any question that the players in the men's game are fitter and stronger than they've ever been, it's been answered throughout this tournament. Kick the extra point, 14 aces for Ginepri. You're getting ready for football, I see. <laughs> oh, that's so tough. Come on. This is what Gil Reyes, Andre's great friend and trainer, says he wants. He says, look, I, we don't know when it's going to end, but I just want to make sure that when Andre finally leaves, he's leaning into the tape. He's going to need to lean into it today. Ginepri giving up only three points on his serve the entire fourth set. Sees that 40 love lead melt. 40-30 now. Love to deuce. Uh, we talk often about how Agassi works his opponent, wears him down physically. Well, Ginepri has done a good job on Agassi. A lot of punches thrown and landed. One all. Two great games to start this fifth set. What they serve is uh, something that I think has improved considerably over the last four or five years. He's got a nice, easy motion. He's got some leg strength. We know about his upper body strength. And he's got some pop to that serve. The other thing with a with a tracer on that serve and the you realize how little wasted effort's in it. That's really concise, isn't it? It's a good point, Dick. That's really true with all his shots. One all final set. Semi-finals of this United States Open Championship. 
guys are playing very well right now. After we talked about the first time Pakistan's ever played three straight five sets, first time Ginepoli's ever played four straight, this is, in, in, in the history of the Open, this is huge how well they're playing. Down the center line with that slice. That's been a good friend. He catches the outside of the ball. It's spinning away from Ginepri. He's barely able to even get a racket on it. the classic American one-two punch now, isn't it? Instead of serving volley. Jim Courier, Andy Roddick, James Blake, Andre Agassi, <laughs> Ravi Ginepri, it's the serving forehand. Another slice down the center. 13 aces. Credit to Agassi's ball toss, because it's difficult to tell what he's going to do. He likes to kick it out wide, but then he can slice it away from you. Jeffrey unable to read that, sir. He's just got to weather the storm, Jeanette, because Agassi is just all out attack. I mean, he's digging as deep as he possibly can to get off to a lead here and try to get type of some type of mental edge on Jeanette. How may I help you, Mr. Giles? First date? Okay, uh, how about the circus? I see, fear of clowns. All right. What about the planetarium? She's nearsighted, really. Well, you know, how about something close up? Sure, I have rows four and five available tonight. No, sir, no clowns. The American Express Card, a world of service. Faust. Aggressive, relentless. Fire has no equal. Or does it? The 300 horsepower Lexus GS. Prudential Real Estate, we've teamed up with Yahoo to create a more powerful way to find a home. Yahoo Real Estate connects you to Prudential Real Estate offices with more than one million properties online and markets from coast to coast. You'll find more facts and photos to help you explore the properties you like. And when you're ready, you're one click away from a Prudential Real Estate sales professional who can make home buying and selling a snap. Prudential Real Estate and Yahoo together. The perfect way to find the perfect home. Welcome back to the National Tennis Center. Super Saturday, our first semifinal. They're on serve in the final set. Robbie Ginepri, the 22-year-old Georgian at 1-2. Against the legend, Andre Agassi at 35. Trying to work his magic and fight on to the finals as he seeks his ninth Grand Slam title. Andre did everything he could and gambled quite a bit in an effort to position himself to be able to win a match like this. Remember his sciatica problem flared up badly at the French Open. He lost early, hobbled off that match. Decided Agassi to skip Wimbledon. Played some summer tennis, but skipped two tournaments as well. 
husbanding his strength and his fitness so that he can make a real run at this year's U.S. Open. Won the tournament in Los Angeles. Went to the finals in Canada. The only two uh, tournaments he played after French. And when we saw him walk off that Terrebat II, uh, it was reasonable to wonder, would he ever play again? And next up will be the second semifinal. The defending champion against number three, Leighton Hewitt. Federer beating Hewitt in straight sets in the championship a year ago. And Kim Kleister's Mary Pierce at 8 o'clock primetime tonight on CBS at 8 o'clock will play for the women's title. At two all, Agassi serves up an ace, his 14. And that was at 127. Fastest of the match. <laughs> Andre and Gil Reyes have adopted as an inspirational song, Barry Manilow's I Made It Through the Rain. And the lyrics are certainly appropriate to uh, what he has accomplished, you know, and friends are hard to find, and life seems so unkind. Sometimes you feel so afraid. Just aim beyond the clouds and rise above the crowds and start your own parade. Make it through the ring. He's making it through this game quick. 40 love, about 10, 15 seconds here. They stay on serve in the final set. Our coverage of the U.S. Open continues after this word from your local station. This is going to end right now. Without a trace, the new season begins September 29th. When so many little things go wrong, it's good to know some of the big things won't. The nice thing about the HP Pavilion Notebook with Intel Centrino Mobile Technology isn't just its price. It's the peace of mind you get for the price. Like a warranty that's longer than most. Support with industry-leading response time. And tech help that actually helps. Get a computer and a company you can count on. Call by September 17th to get an HP Pavilion Notebook with Intel Centrino Mobile Technology, just $899. Order now and get a free second battery and free shipping. Or ask about other notebooks with Intel processor starting at $529 after rebates. Too bad everything isn't backed with this much support. HP Pavilion Notebooks. Brilliantly simple. Sunday, the Titans and the Steelers kick off the season on CBS Detroit. Maybe we can get the boys together for a little play date. I don't want a play date with some stupid kid just so you can have sex with her. Two and a half men. Didn't need something. It premieres Monday, September 19th. It's all in high definition for those of you enjoying HD from Queens in New York across the East River about four or five miles as the crow flies from downtown Manhattan and it's 2-3 in the final set. All the chips are on the table now as Ginepri serves to Agassi. The winner advances to tomorrow afternoon's final. He knows this is going to happen if he hits a short second serve. Agassi, to me, the all-time greatest returner. He's going to attack viciously like he did there. That's why you need those first serve aces. Well, that mutes it. Number 16, two more than Agassi. He served a lot better in this fourth and into this fifth set. Agassi again, the air off the backhand. He's got to be a feeling something in his legs, right? I mean, come on, the guy's 35. So 31st unforced from the backhand wing. To go with uh, only seven winners in the match. Amazing. Forced, uh, there was one for Ginepri where he took that long step and his balance was off. And you've got to take a smaller step, particularly when you're fatigued. And then he tried to hit it over the high part of the net. Now he's faced with 30 all in a second serve. I guess he's looking to take this early. He does. Looking to come in on the serve, but hit it a little long. 
first time he's tried to employ that tactic. Middle of the final set. Each point carries so much weight now. This off beautifully. I mean, you can't hit a shot better than that. It's impossible. Right on the line, break point. And Genepri answers back. Big first serve. He put a little bit more on that. That was about 10 miles per hour harder than the last serve he had hit. Another quality point. Look how quickly he came in, though, to put that ball away. Amazing. Another chance for a 4-2 lead. Final set. That's a play that Agassi threw at James Blake late in that tie break in the fifth set to win on Wednesday night. Not only it excites and pleases the 23,000, most of them here cheering Agassi, but Mama knows how to win. And <laughs> First of all, Ginepri's serve was excellent. Agassi's return was so hit with so much depth. Now he has to consolidate that lead at 4 2. Ginepri's doing everything he possibly can to hang with Andre. He, he can't do it right now. The level is so high. Fifteen aces. Now, those of you who missed that classic on Wednesday night, Agassi and James Blake, remember this is the man, the server, was down two sets. And was able to manage the victory in a very tight fifth set and tiebreak. Greatness defined in many ways. Some of it right here, right now. Presenting the Canon Rebel T2. A sophisticated yet easy to use SLR. With features like high-speed autofocus that'll help you take extraordinary photographs. The Canon T2. Once a rebel, always a rebel. Sprint Business is reinventing the Yes Man. Turning the Yes Man into someone who can work from almost anywhere. 
And now that Sprint and Nextel have come together, you can work in and out of the office more efficiently, the way 96% of the Fortune 1000 already do. So if saying yes from just about anywhere with speed and confidence makes me a yes man, I'm a yes man. With Sprint Business, you can make just about any place a workplace. Yes, you can. No, no, no. None of these are sexy enough. Find out what Eva Langori is wearing. Something lower. Ellen DeGeneres hosts the Emmys, live Sunday, September 18th. Not quite four years of age, Jaden Gill Agassi. Along with a chant for Agassi by this crowd of 23,000 and full appreciation for a match so well played at both ends. Andre says he doesn't know if he'll be playing long enough that Jazz, his daughter, will understand what he does for a living, but he's very happy that Jaden has gotten to watch him play and what, a, what an effort he has seen from Daddy this tournament. How about the effort from Ginepri, too, oh, it's, it's fourth straight seeded player. It's tremendous. Andre thought that ball was out, didn't get the call. He won't be complaining long because he's up here 5-2 in the fifth set. He still almost made that shot. Again, to underline his opponent's tremendous effort, four straight, never happened in open history, four straight five-setters, all against seeded players. This man, 46th ranked in the world. He's been playing at the top of his game in this fifth set, and he's down 5-2. Chances to break early in the fifth set, and since then, Agassi has played unbelievably well. Agassi was down 15-40 in the op opening game of this set, final set. That was two points from the final. That was close, too. Four miles an hour earns his 17th ace of the match. Oh! Andre Agassi at 5 3 will serve for the finals. In this set, the old guy in the white across the way at 35. This is his. Report card, 16 winners, three errors, four points from the finals.
All the people are going to stand now. And boy, does Agassi deserve it. And so does the man who made him fight through five tough sets. in this crowd with a standing ovation two hours and 47 minutes and the 35 year old Agassi proved all that tough training in the hot sun and running hills in the weight rooms in Las Vegas plays his best tennis in the final set three love games just impeccable for the two time U.S. champion and now it's Agassi through how much will be left in that tank as he meets either Roger Federer or or Leighton Hewitt in the finals tomorrow. He's with Mary Jo Fernandez. Thanks, Dick. Robbie, tremendous effort. You're the first player in U.S. Open history to play four straight five-set matches. You came up a little short. What was the difference? Andre's just too good. That's why he's uh, still out here going and in, in, in the finals tomorrow. You had never taken a set off, Andre. You win the second set. Did you feel this was your big opportunity? You never know with, with him. You never know if he's going to just hit so many great returns against you or just backing up the line. It's so tough playing against him. You know, today wasn't my day, though. Well, great effort. Congratulations on a great U.S. Open, Robbie. Andre. You played three five-set matches in a row. How did you find that extra gear in that final set? Well, there's not many choices out here. I mean, uh, the momentum that Robbie had going in the fifth, you know, it was, uh, to me, you never know. It might be the last set I ever play here at the U.S. Open, and I wasn't going to... Don't say that! But it's, it's, it's hard not to... It's hard to know, you know, when... When it's your last time and you just want it to be everything you got in the fifth set, I just, um, you know, just kept working hard and a few uh, shots went from me at the right time. Well, you have had injuries and you said you didn't even know whether you'd play this year's U.S. Open. So how special and meaningful does this become now? <laughs> I mean, I'm in the finals. That's, that's awesome. <laughs> U.S. Open final. You're going for your third U.S. Open. It's a quick turnaround. How are you prepared to play against either Hewitt or Federer? Uh, go get a good meal and uh, enjoy watching the match. But, uh, you know, we're down to the home stretch, so I'll be out here ready tomorrow and let it all, let it all out. Extra special that your family's here supporting you? Yeah. Uh, it's, it's great having the family with me, you know. I mean, Traveling with two kids is uh, it's quite an undertaking, but it sure beats the alternative. And we're, we're just having a blast together, and it's just great to share with, with, with my family, for sure. Congratulations, Andre. Best of luck tomorrow. Back up to you, Dick. Andre Agassi, maybe 35, but in that interview, once again, there's so much little boy still left. And what makes uh, Agassi so easy to like. He loves to compete so much. I mean, how can you not love this moment? Oh, well, this guy, he can, this is the addiction of all time for him. And it's a payoff for these fans and their loyalty and support. Each of the winners throughout the championship uh, autographing three tennis balls. <laughs> and those become... Highly valued souvenirs. Well, that uh, matches a souvenir to remember and to keep in your memory bank, huh? Six three in the final set to Agassi. Third time in a row, five sets. Never happened to him in his storied career. And he's answered with three hard-earned victories. To certainly uh, 
earn his trip into the finals tomorrow. How well did he serve that final set? Well, there's a part of his game we don't talk about often enough, but uh, it is truly impressive. And he's he's in. There's a lot of guys out there that. Are, <laughs> The kid. <laughs> she probably gets it now. <laughs> Steffi, who rarely shows any Jane. emotion. Darren Cahill, as Agassi delivers his 17th ace at match point. <laughs> How wonderful was that? And we've got so much more left. It'll be Federer and Hewitt when we return. Fast, aggressive. Relentless. Fire has no equal. Or does it? The 300 horsepower Lexus GS. Control of your infrastructure. Get help with a scalable IBM e-server blade center featuring Intel Xeon processors. Every once in a while, I like to mix it up. Throw in a little twist. Be a little more playful. That's why I love the new Pantene Curls Collection. Curls are hot. Every hairstyle says something different. What do my curls say to me? They go boing. There's something for every look you can imagine. I don't know if it's the pro vitamin formula or what. I can go curly, I can go wavy, I can kind of do it all. The new Pantene Curls Collection. I love it. King of Queens season premiere, Monday, September 19th. Andre Agassi, 35 years old, with a remarkable five-set victory over Robbie Ginepri, and afterward, the applause here in New York seemed to last forever. The ageless wonder is now into his sixth U.S. Open final, and this is what we normally don't get to see. In the tunnel, after receiving the adulation of millions... <laughs> This is one of the best moments of the day for Andre, a hug from his son, and there's his daughter, Jazz, coming over to Daddy. She may not fully understand everything that happened, but that moment speaks for itself. So Andre awaits the winner of today's second semifinal between world number one Roger Federer and 2001 U.S. Open champion Leighton Hewitt. And a reminder, tonight it's the women's championship in prime time. Kim Kleisters and Mary Pierce battling for the crown at 8 Eastern time. Still lots more great tennis ahead of us on this Super Saturday in New York. CBS Sports presents the Heineken Star Award. Sponsored by Heineken, proud sponsor of the 2005 U.S. Open. Tennis fans were invited to vote online for the Heineken Star Award by choosing the greatest shot in U.S. Open history. The nominees, Jimmy Connors, around the post. Between the legs, Yannick Noah. A great get by John McEnroe. Venus Williams saves a match point. James Blake climbs the ladder. And Juan Carlos Ferrero with a tweener. And the winning shot over the shoulder by Andre Agassi against Alex Correggio. Heineken will donate $5,000 to the charities of Andre's and Alex's choice.
funny how innovation works. One doorway leads to another. Today, Olympus innovations help lead the way in everything from consumer electronics to medical technology. Wonder what doors we'll open tomorrow. We got the lineup that just won't quit. I'm eating my dinner. How's it now, Chunky? Hey, hey! Yeah, it's chillin', making out of it. Shark! <laughs> that was fun. Hit the light, lock that door. Life stinks. Cheer up, you're still a kid. It's gonna get much worse. Is there a Dr. Barnes here? Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, start tonight with CBF. Making out of it. This U.S. Open update is sponsored by IBM. He's from Switzerland.